Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about a projects, yeah, finals projects, something like that. Let's get into it. So the question in question today was a little bit of a story, but let's just walk through it. It's, let's see, the comment was, hey Frederick, first thanks for the quality content, hey, uh, you provide on a daily basis, your channel is pure gold. I have a question which I don't think you might enjoy discussing or it's not strictly related to your recent content but I would appreciate your help. I'm currently in my final years and trying to generate ideas for a graduation project, that's the term, graduation project. And it's really hard, it's a really hard task, I don't want to come up with a cheap idea like building another e-commerce platform. I don't know if that's going to be cheap but yeah sure, or so and in the same time I don't Go. I, I don't have time to learn the trendy stuff like machine learning or AI. So basically, my skills are web related. Um, I'm working in Java Spring ang and Angular. Maybe a little bit of insight on how to handle this during your time as a student or so might help. Thanks in advance. Okay, so the short answer is if you want a good graduation project, you should think about this in a uh, branding perspective if you ask me. Let me explain that. So something that is very easy to do and it's absolutely understandable is to uh, create toy projects as I like to call them. Toy projects are to do apps, small REST APIs that do something arbitrarily and so forth. And when I was in school I did a few of these. I remember one course where I just didn't have the, I wasn't interested in, like I, all I really cared about at uh, in that specific course was just pass the course because I wasn't passionate about the topic so I would like do really stupid stuff that like just technically got me the uh, the A or like uh, like get got me the highest grade because it was very important to me back in those days to nail every single class and I did <laughs> but uh, the graduation project I thought about that a little bit differently and most uh, not all of my uh, st my classmates did did so but I'm very glad that I did the reason why I thought about it differently was because my thought was that now that I'm at my graduations day in, in my graduation days the next step is going to be finding a job and that's the thing I've been telling you about that's that's the hard part and the problem with finding a job is that you have no proof that you know anything and if you don't have any proof that you know anything that's that's that, that's not worth much because everybody's looking for proof and so if you produce a as this person is saying I can let's let's call it a very basic e-commerce platform and it's not really a real product is a toy thing. I know this is a it's a little bit unfair at the same time because the thing is that the people who are working in the in the industry they may have forgotten that you have a lot of other stuff going on as a student. You have other courses and other stuff. You might have a side job and tons of. I mean, you might just have a month or something to build something. And here the only thing I. I'm not saying that that's the only thing and then if you're gonna build an e-commerce platform guys that's gonna take a lot of time it's gonna take a lot of time unless it's like this trivial little thing and if it's this trivial little thing nobody's really gonna be all that impressed with you so it's an unfair situation but even with just basic web skills and not knowing machine learning or AI or so forth, you can make something that will stand out. And that's the key thing that you're going for. Making something that stands out and that has a that people can very quickly at a glance appreciate the value of. I'll give you an example. So I when I, I took a course way back in computer science for at one university and the finals project was uh, we were going to make a web application basically that's the whole project and I made a website that uh, just generated different just uh, it was a very short wizard story where like, I put, took some pictures with a little bit of descriptions wrote some stuff like you are in a cave etc etc and a dark man appears from in front of you and asks you a riddle and then I had downloaded a database of different types of riddles so people could like play this little interactive story game and every time they play it, played it through they were going to be posed with a different riddle and then they just entered their answer and that was the whole story and it was a super basic application that 
didn't take all that much and a lot of my friends and like people were kind of like yeah this was sort of cool like they thought that this was an interesting project and I had other courses where I created a, I remember I made a Kanban board for moving story cards and stuff like that. This was a minor, minor little thing and my, but my, like my professor actually mistook the product that I produced for a production application, something that a company had made. So I passed that course as well and it was something that I could actually use. The thing about this though, guys, is that these sorts of projects, they, they weren't anything that I could really show readily to future employers and that's where one of my uh, my uh, teachers gave uh, me a very good insight he suggested that in this case that we create an Android application and I went like yeah okay we were doing job at the time but he's like wasn't like why would we make an Android application well it's very simple because it's something you can show like immediately when you're going out and like trying to talk to people and they ask like what okay so what you've been working on what's you what have you been doing well you can just pull up your phone and show oh I built this thing here so I've made two or three very small simple little computer games or like you know, mobile games that I made myself and like I've shown those things a hundred times more than I've ever shown my riddle thing or like any of the other stuff that I made. Now that's the sort of mindset that you should have with you when you're thinking about your final project. You need to create something that is easy to show or at the very least interesting enough to talk about. It doesn't have to be something super super advanced like a big system or something like that. It just has to be something that is fun or interactive or something that stands is that is a little bit different there are ma and you don't have to work in machine learning or use AI to do that there's tons of stuff I had a few of my a few of my co-workers and you can steal this one you're f more than like in in these corona times if this video is still if it's gonna get released during the whole pandemic thing you can steal this idea like we um, we had there was a request for projects that made people come together in, in during the pandemic and they were looking for IT people or software developers to help out with that. And so we had the suggestion, like we put together a small little... Uh, I wanted to put together a... Uh, like a, the dumbest thing in the world. And a, a, a page the way you could just fill out from what region in the like in, in my country, of course, Sweden, uh, where, where you were living and what emojis best represented your current mood. It's the dumbest thing in the world. And then we would just show in categories, oh, in Gothenburg where I am, oh, that's how people are feeling. Or in Stockholm, which is the capital, because you didn't know that, likely. That's how everybody's feeling, etc., etc. It's the silliest thing in the world. But it's, it's the sort of idea where if we put that on a web page and we say that that's something we made, it's something that an employer would be like, kind of, wow, okay, that's kind of quirky, that's kind of cool, that's something that's worth noticing, it's something that's fun to talk about. And that's the thing that you're going for. You don't have to put so much pressure on yourself to build something that is super, super big. Other things, and I highly, this is probably even better than something quirky like that, is to build serious stuff get yourself a stakeholder that's and this represents probably better than anything else what you're gonna do in actual life and what the sort of work you're gonna do if you wanted to be a freelancer go and talk to a friend and everybody has a friend who needs a web app of some sort the danger here is that they might want something that's really really big and then you need to discope it and see if you can ship some part of it and then build on top of it and build a serious thing like like set up an actual web application that helps people out with something it might be an e-commerce site it might be a content management system or something like that that they have for work I don't know how many requests I have from friends who want me to build something for them I just a few days ago I helped my friends set up an internal communication thing for sending out emails He's, he works with batteries and stuff like that and his stations send like information to different servers and stuff like that and he needed just a way to get emails dispatched that's a serious project that is very I mean I got and you can get paid to do this stuff and if you can fill stuff like that up on your CV that is actual work experience you don't think that it is but that's actual work experience if you have built something else for someone else that's something that you can put on your CV and say I've actually done real sort of work and that's the sort of stuff that goes really well over 
with future employees because what they're looking for is projects and portfolios or examples of you working in a way that is very close to what they are doing so if you have serious projects that gives a good sensation to them and if you have toy projects that are just doing trivial stuff it doesn't really matter or they don't really think all that much about that so what I want you to take away from this very simple if you want to have a good graduation project or something like that prioritize first and foremost something that is worth showing something that is easy to show you can do like a phone app or a web application or something like that something that is a little bit quirky something that is conversation worthy if you're just making another to-do app nobody cares the second thing that you should consider is make something serious go and talk to a real stakeholder and see if they need help building something and then build that thing because that's that's what your job is. You take whatever somebody is needs and then build it. And don't care so much if it's a big thing or a small thing. If it, this tiny little thing is still something that somebody else is using to improve their life in some way. And that is your job as a software developer. Have a great day.